Hey guys, Pilot Gardener and Reefer again. It's been a while since I've posted anything. I can't, I don't know what to tell you, there's no excuse. But here's a video. I was just gonna give a, a one year update on my Orbit Yard Enforcer. It's been a year and I've been rough on it. So let's go out there and we'll check it out. All right, so I'm gonna walk up and let you see what's happening with this thing. And I've been rough on it. I've had no mercy on this sprinkler and it is still performing just as good as it did when I bought it. And I hate to admit, I hate to admit this, but I left my yard enforcer out all year attached to this post like it's literally attached the same way it was when i was using it last year all i did was remove the water from it and just left it mounted uh probably not the best thing in the world to do but this thing is still working just like it did when i bought it so that's a good sign guys so i was just gonna see if it would yep yep pick me up so you can see, working just fine, <laughs> no problems. So motion sensor still good, all the settings still work, the sensitivities, uh, the strength of the sprinkler, it's not leaking. Uh, I think it's all a good report from me. And I definitely recommend this unit. Uh, I think that, you know, somebody posted a uh, question about, you know, I guess smaller animals, if it'll detect smaller animals, and it, I believe it will. I do know that you have to point the uh, motion sensor more down because I think the way they designed this thing is it has to, I think the way they designed it is, you know, mounting it in the ground on the stake. So I guess they were thinking that all the motion would be higher up into the motion sensor, but you know, for a larger area, I think it's best to raise it up a little bit, but you still have to tilt the sensor down a lot. So, you know, because if you've got tall plants like these tomato plants here, you're not gonna pick up something that's moving on the other side of those tomatoes unless you get it up higher. You know, if it's sitting all the way down on the ground here, it's not gonna do a very good job. So anyway, update on the uh, orbit yard enforcer highly recommended uh, it's very durable no leaks still works after one year in the elements no problems and i'm gonna see how much longer you know that holds up you know and i'll keep you updated i'll post another review uh, maybe at the end of the season just to make sure that everything works really well i do know it's working because my peppers that i had planted over here I had them in the ground only a couple of days and everything else was all really small. And after two days in the ground, the deer ate about, I don't know, probably eight or 10 of my pepper plants. They took all the leaves off and chewed the stem down about halfway on my peppers. And I had my yard enforcer here, but I had I didn't have my water hooked up and <clears throat> Actually, this timer, you know, I had a timer that was similar to this on it last last season, and it actually, the little seal on the back of the battery compartment, this little seal there, uh-oh, that seal will leak. Like, it's got a little O-ring in it, but it actually leaks, you know. And, I, and what I did is my, my sprinkler system, I had, where it is now down here to actually water the garden, it's it oversprays the garden a little bit and the length of my garden it doesn't work well reaching the other side if i put it on the end so i had this sprinkler actually mounted back a little bit farther so that i could avoid you know so much of my water going over the garden but by doing that the water was spraying onto this water resistant waterproof um timer but after probably about a month or so of doing that, it started leaking in the back and the, the timer was filling up with water to the point that it caused damage to the timer. 
<clears throat> but anyway, so I bought another one and relocated my sprinkler. I didn't realize that was going to be an issue, but it was. But anyway, Orbit Yard Enforcer, very good product, highly recommended. It does well. It scares the crap out of the deer because ever since I connected it to water and got it running, which I wasn't sure if it was going to run because I knew I'd neglected it, left it out in the elements. But I connected that sucker to water, put new batteries in it, and it works like a champ, just like it did when I put it on for the first day. So no deer, nothing has eaten my garden. So it's doing its job, guys. Uh, if, uh, if it's your first time watching my videos, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I will uh, put out another update on this product in the future. Thanks. Bye.